What's going on guys? This is Red Bull Tanker with Access and Allies 1914 turn 5 for the United States. So, with not having to do a global perspective, like I since I just did that with the Italian turn, I mean we could pretty much just go right into the American turn. So just like Italy, the United States had 22 to spend. We spent all 22 of that. We bought seven infantry oh yeah seven infantry or no sorry six infantry and an artillery um, with two infantry equal with one infantry equaling brigade we bought three or we bought six six brigades which fit into three divisions so we now have the fifth the sixth and the seventh infantry divisions we do have uh, one. We do have one combat. We are taking the four infantry, the four infantry brigades for the third and fourth infantry divisions onto this transport. Going one, two, and we are reinforcing the U.S. First Army here in Spain. and conducting combat against the remainder of the Spanish forces, which is two infantry and an artillery. Results from that battle, we were able to destroy the remaining Spanish defenses. And our casualty, and while we were able to destroy all of the Spanish defenses. It came at the cost of a very bloody charge from the last brigade of the 1st Marine Division. So unfortunately, the 1st Marine, Bur 1st Marine Division has now ceased to exist. And now the 3rd and the 4th Infantry Divisions have taken over a brief occupation duty of Spain is now in U.S. hands and US, the U.S. will go up for IPC from 20 to 24. The U.S. First Army. Grab these off real quick. Alright, then our only non-combat is we're taking three of our transports and bringing them back home. Then deployment wise, like I said, we're deploying our six infantry and artillery at Washington. Throw out so five, six, and seventh infantries. Alright, so then at the end of the turn, we now collect we didn't save any. But since we went up four, we now have collected 24 IPC. All right, so then we'll go over the casualties for the end of turn five. Surprisingly, the Austro-Hungarians, since they did not attack, they did not suffer any casualties. The Russians overall suffered seven infantry killed. Germany lost 10, 15, 18... 19, 20, 21, 22 infantry, and three of their fighters. Most of this, all, almost all of this came from the battle with the French in the Ruhr. France lost 15, 16, 17, 18 infantry and their three fighters. Britain lost 1, 2, 3, 4, 15 infantry and four artillery. The Ottomans lost 17 infantry, an artillery and a fighter. And then the US lost their one infantry that represented the final brigade, the last remaining brigade of the first infantry, first Marine division. All right, so that is it for 1914 turn five. We'll do a quick little 
view around the board. Britain did reinforce the French army in the Ruhr, so the Brits will also help the French in defending the Ruhr against any German counterattacks. The Germans are also coming down into Austria to aid them in their defense against my against the Italian forces in Trieste, though the French are poking at them a little bit from Serbia. The Brits and the Ottomans hotly contesting Mesopotamia between the two of them. That British infantry should not be there, he's dead. So, that British infantry is dead. But Middle East being hotly, hotly contested, so we'll keep seeing how that develops. More stalemate on the Egyptian, the Egyptian Jordan front, with British and French forces moving to reinforce the area. And like I said, the uh, British wrapped up the final um, destruction of the German forces in Southwest Africa. So that is it for turn five. We are now heading into turn six. So that is it for turn five and we will see you guys again for Italy turn six. So until then guys, as always, take care.